Hi everybody, uh, this is just a uh, very short tutorial on a very popular DOS command, uh, ipconfig. Uh, so as I said, that's a DOS command or a Windows uh, command prompt. The first thing you want to do is open the uh, command terminal window. So to do that, if you click on the Windows search bar and type in CMD, I'm going to run that as an administrator. And click yes. So once that's open, you'll see uh, the uh, the command prompt uh, window. In there, you just type in ipconfig. That's i p c o n f i g, and press enter. And this is going to give you uh, some information about your network adapters. So here you can see the IPv4 address. It shows you the IP address for that, subnet mask, and the default gateway. I should say the IP address, the or the IPv4 address shown here is not your public IP address. This is the address of the machine that you're working on, on your local area network. And in this case, the default gateway here on a small network, that's normally synonymous with uh, your local router. So my router is 192.168. Uh, dot one dot one. Uh, the ipconfig command is quite useful if you want to see that your machine's connected, if you want to find your um, your router IP address, but it also does have some other subcommands. So if I just clear the screen and type ipconfig again, this time space and forward slash, I'm going to type all this time and press enter. This tells you uh, the same info about your network adapters, but it expands it to show uh, a lot more detail. So about lease times, expiries of leases, DNS servers, NetBIOS, for example. So useful if you want to know some additional information. There's some other variations. Uh, so if I just clear the screen again, uh, this time I'm going to do IP config space forward slash. And then this time I'm going to do flush. DNS. So flush DNS. This is going to be really handy if you're having trouble connecting to a website, for example, as it forces the DNS to dump all the cached info that it's got uh, and to get some new stuff. So uh, if you're having trouble connecting to a website, you might want to give flush DNS a try. So if I just press enter, that's flushed everything successfully, as you can see by the return message, uh, and then you're good to go. If you want that, I mean, there's quite a large range of uh, ipconfig uh, commands. So if you want to see what they are, type in ipconfig space forward slash and question mark. And there you go. So it gives you some examples of all of the different ipconfig commands. I'll probably explore those in some other videos. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next one.